Hey, I can't believe it, it's boarded out. Or even worse, it's carpeted. Flipping it. Light and rewire with this. Oh dear. <laughs> Let's get into this. Hey, it's James from Feed Electrical. On today's video, we're doing a rewire on the lights. Here we go. Yeah then, so we're into the property now. So this is what we're dealing with. So we did a test probably about a month ago. Uh, it's first time where it's gone around about one to two mega ohm. The customer's not been happy as, as far as leaving it for a longer period of time. So anything above two meg obviously passes. Um, but yeah, because it was quite low compared to the rest of the circuits, they want to decorate, they want to do it all up. So what they don't want is to get it all nice and nice and then the cables start causing problems and then you have to rewire it anyway. So we're in now just to get new cables to all the lighting positions, all the switches. And that's about it really. And there's a couple of downstairs down lights and there's two outside lights and that's it really for the lighting. So other issue with this is that metal fittings are no earth. So there's no earth for light circuits. However, if, if it was all plastic, it would have passed. But obviously a recommendation to get it rewired, but yeah, no earth of stuff as well. So obviously with the new circuit, it's gonna have an earth and the insulation of the cables are gonna be good. So it should last for a long time. All right then, let's talk you through the job then. So we've got the light into wire, obviously. So the, there we go, fuse boards down here. We're gonna wire for the downstairs and upstairs separately. So all those come at the back of these units, it's a little boxing section, so we'll take the little flap off there, drill through on an angle. That'll get you access to we'll go upstairs first. There we go. That'll pop you out here. We'll have to flat back the carpets, run the cables up, and we can come up one of these switches for the zone. So I'll come up here, do this switch, and then do feast the light. So that's when you bring the permanent um, live the pediment cables <laughs> to the pendant and then a switch wire down so feed into there cable out of there to the next one and from there to the next one and from there to the next one so we've got a permanent supply at all your lights and then obviously you've got permanent live and neutral at your light you send the permanent live you don't connect that into your lamp you bring that you attach that to one one of the cars so the twin earth coming down it runs it runs through your switch up out connects onto the brow of your your light or your switch live your light and that switches it on you see and that way you can switch on your light it's not permanently on there we go so that's how we're going to do it so that's going to be upstairs we're also going to pick up the bathroom obviously so we're here and then down to a switch on the outside so each room you're basically wiring down to your switch down to your switch and what we'll do is run it in like a three core on earth so you'll have Permanent live, neutral and switch live. So you'll have a neutral there, which is really important if you ever want any smart switching, anything like that for the future. So we, we're trying to future-proof it a little bit. And it's not that much extra for three core on earth. Right then, so, downstairs then. Same route then. Up, through that, drilled through. And but it will come mid down. So it'll come along, up into your light to, to pick up a permanent to that. We'll have to pick up this, so hopefully, but if the josh run this, we'll have to rod into here. So we'll have to rod into that switch there. Um, that'll give a permanent to there, permanent to here, permanent to here, and then that'll be the downstairs wire. Then it's be switch wire down, switch wire down, switch wire down, and then switch wire down. So this room we might do slightly differently just because the down lights, and it's quite hard to get feed in, feed out cable to your next light and a switch wire so you'll have like loads of cables at your light which is yeah you can do it but it's, it can be a bit hard but what we might do for this room is actually bring the feed down to the switch uh, just in out and then it'll be a cable from here up to your light so again there we go that's what we're planning for that uh, there's a few two ways to go in so that's where you can kind of flick it on both ends so have a look uh was it this room not this room Top and bottom stairs, right? So we'll basically have a two gang switch here. 
So one switch we'll do bottom of stairs, top of stairs and outside light. And then also at the top of the stairs you'll be able to go bottom of stairs, top of stairs and bathroom. So that's the plan. Outside light then. So if we're going to send a cable from here to the outside light, it's a lot easier to bring one cable to the outside rather than go feed in, feed out and switch wire. So you have three there rather than one. So one's a lot easier with the outside lights. So again, we'll bring feeds to switches to here, I think. Or we'll bring a, like a three, like I said, three going earth down. So you'll have your neutral there anyway. Uh, same again for the backlight. Uh, we'll put a switch in, another switch that'll be kind of kitchen. I think there's some under cabs as well that they might want powering back up. I need to ask them about that. But potentially there might be uh, the main lights on the cabs and outside lights. So there we go, that's the that's the plan. So we'll just get a few bits out now. So hopefully it won't too long that little explanation, but at least you know exactly what we're doing as we're kind of running about today. So the plans might change a little bit. You know, you might get into it and things might change. The you might have to uh, reroute a few different bits. So when you when you crack at it, you kind of have like a rough plan of what's going to go on. But as you dive into it, things might change a bit. So you never know what's going to go on. Right then, let's get a few bits out. Right, everything's in now. So then. What we're going to do is crack at it. So first things to do is get the roots in and mark out the switches and then get the all the plaster chopped out basically. So for every switch, we might relocate to the 1200 position. So there's like a new reg. Well, it's not really a new reg, but you're supposed to have switches and sockets land between 12, 1200 basically and 450 to the bottom, 1200 to the top. So I think we'll Put the switches in those heights, so we've got a switch to go in here, obviously for this room. Switch to go in here for this room. Originally it's here, but they're not going to run it in the kitchen. Uh, obviously switch to go in here, and that's the downstairs done, so I think we'll just crack at that. We'll show you how we do it, and then um, we can go from there, really. Right yeah, then, so we're going to mark out the switch together. So we've got my little, little GoPro head mount. So then, let's get his box, that box wherever that went. Lost it already. <laughs> uh, we'll use this one. Alright then, so first things first, then we need a map for 1200. So we just clear out the rubbish off floor there. There we go, make sure it's on. So that's at 1200 then. Then what I do, just bang a level line across. Like that. And then. Some people just come like a box bit out, so we could have something like that for the side of it. Slide him along, and then boom, boom. And what I do is extend these lines, so when you chop out, you can use these lines to get it roughly level. It just speeds up, getting it, getting it level and perfect afterwards. So there we go. That's in. That's in. So that's what we're working with. And then, when it comes to doing the chases up and down, I've got a, uh, and I'm just kind of shoved it all the effort video. <laughs> just so you can see me bring stuff in. Um, little less level then. So you set it up on one of the sides. So now I'm gonna do like a channel, probably about this wide. So we'll chase up that side, move level, chase up the other side, and it's gonna be perfect then, isn't it? Up to from here, up to the ceiling. So we'll do that in a bit. Let's get a uh, sort of garden. Yeah. Ah, oh, so let's get this little drill out. Oh. Now these are base days, it's a it's a Bosch. Look at that, GBH. 226F. So the F is basically you can swap that out and put a like a chuck attachment on. So it's good for like if you're gonna drill loads of joists out, you don't want to knock your battery drill. So this thing just it's a right little workhorse this. So you get it on ammo mode. Right, plug it in. Now some people just use battery, but it, it kills them and they don't last very long. Uh, when you've kind of used it all day, your battery drills. Right, so we're going to go about two mil around, so about there. Well, it's probably about five mil, minute, but all the way around. And whilst we're doing it, we're going to slightly angle it away from the box. So what you'll find is if you start chasing here, 
uh, by the time you got to the back, it's gone meow, like that, and it's kind of caved in. So it'll, as you chase, it always kind of does this kind of motion. So let's get them chased out then. The arc around the edges, so basically you, you get used to like the depth of a 25 mil box. Um, but you want to make sure you go all the way around 25 mil. And for this point, you can kind of come down on an angle like that, and it'll take out, take out like a wedge, which will point towards the bottom corner, which you've chopped out. You can come in this side; it'll take out the top wedge, second wedge, and then we want to say uh, shaving the actual back box to make sure it's perfectly flat. Sorry, shaving the wall to make it flat for the back box. Yeah, and then. Coming from side, this side, now this is where we're going to shave, so all we're going to do is pull the chuck back and we're going to kind of go left to right, if it gets jammed we're going to turn it 90, well turn it 45 degrees sorry, and then carry on until it gets it perfectly flat. You want your, your bit nice and flat to the wall. Make sure this is straight to the wall. It's what a lot of people are, or what you find Hayden doing. He'll be drilling like this, because you can't, but you know, not you can't bother, but you, you don't think to bend down and strain it out. So <laughs> most pulling him up on that. If you look there, if that's straight, it's gonna it's gonna shave like straight. If it's, if it's like that, that's gonna dig in, and you're gonna end up like a sloped surface for your back box sitting. So make that nice and straight, and just do a few passes lightly. And then what I do last is just square out the box. So you're gonna go into the, the four corners on a 45 degree angle. Let's give it a good blast. Make sure the, the sides, like here, it starts here and then ends up here. You know what I mean? So you need to start here and go over the 45. There we go. Perfect. And get all the carpets are getting uh, redone basically. They're all getting ripped out. As you can tell, so normally we'll put the shits down. Um, not in this case. So just going to scrape out the box and take off any loose bits, and that's perfect. That. So when you get your box in there, uh, you can just eye it up. If you, if you look here, if you run, run, run here across the top of the box, and get the sides and the bottom. If you just get a fix in here and here and then using your penny washer fixings, you'll be able to get this perfect, basically. So, that's how we're gonna do that. So, I think we'll, we'll, we'll actually get the, the fixings in. Uh, so, it's just a 5.5 five bit, uh, which isn't here, it's in the van. But anyway, it's just two fixing holes here, and then what we do is use these little penny washer fixings that bangs through there, and then, as that's fixed, you get, you've got a nice surface area across the metal there, and there's loads of play to get it perfectly level. So literally you just tighten it up a little bit, and then with the screwdriver you can just knock it perfectly into level, and it'll just slowly just tap away in the direction you want it, so that's that. And obviously it's level it out, you want to level to the lugs. So you want to level it to this lug, and this is adjustable. So you want to level to about here on that, and then it'll be perfect. So there we go, that's how we do the box. So now I'm just going to chase up, so I'm going to get this laser level on, 
trace up to the top and then that's ready for the cable to come in for when we actually wire it. Plaster, it's really tough. It's like a, it's almost like a lime plaster. Like normal plaster, you send your drill bit and it goes nah, straight in. But this, you chip it out for ages and it slowly goes in and it just flakes like this. It's awful. Anyway, so it should be fun chasing the walls. But we've got the box chopped out, we've got the channel in, so it'll be that for every switch. And then basically, when we're wiring it up, we can run it across the the uh, the joists almost like between the two floors. Why down here, obviously up to your line, that kind of thing. But it's a lot easier. We've got a little gap into the loft as well. So you make a little little channel in, a little access up to up to like the the void space between the ceiling of the downstairs and the floor of the upstairs. And that's it. So switch there. So we've got a few more switches through down here and upstairs. So I'll just crack on with those really. So we'll get all the roots in and then it'll just be a matter of just flapping back the carpets then, taking up floorboards, and then if there's, if there's no access holes, we'll have to drill loads of access holes for the new room. So then, because plaster were a bit of a nightmare last time, I'm going to have a go with the multi-tool, just to kind of uh, break it up a bit easier. Uh, then we're going to come in with the chase a bit. Hit the sparking. It's that hard, the plaster, look at it. Look at this cap in <laughs> on a right angle. So a few people when they do rewires they'll, they'll say, oh just use the cap in, you can pull in new cables, you don't have to chase it out. This is why I don't do that. Look at that. Imagine tying on that cable that like you thought was uh, in line with this. Tying it on, and then you got a cable out of zone. So basically every accessory creates a zone. So horizontally and vertically. Uh, so across here, up there, it creates a zone. If it's out of zone, then you're not, you're not allowed. It's not allowed to be there. So you don't want to be <laughs> pulling a new cable. And it's just going up at an angle. Yeah, I don't know. That's what they used to do back in the day. So they've done it there. I don't, I don't know why though. It seems a bit silly. Well, same again. I don't see why they didn't just do it straight up, straight down. I don't know. Strange, isn't it? <sighs> a bit dusty, dusty. See, so yeah, we got those chopped out. So if we have a look at this then. Got a box of chopped out for this room, so I've just done the chase. That's ready for a box to go in. I'm gonna to go to wholesalers tonight, pick up some boxes so we can fit those tomorrow. We hear that just bust through to the loft. We've got another one. We'll bust through to the loft there. Same again there. Same again there. So we're gonna show you how to wire that shortly. So the next thing is just to get the carpets up. Just flat back the carpets to the middle. So we can access that pen below, feed down to there. What else we got? The kitchen switch should be round about here. So I'm actually drill through and pop out around about here. So I'll have to lift up, lift up the carpet this way. Uh, what else we got? There's the switch for the hallway about here. So I'll have to flat back the carpets again for that. There's the two way. So I'll have to run a two way from down there along. We might go up that channel and back through the top, which might be a bit easier. Or I might just straight down to the bottom and that can go straight up the wall. Nice so we got there's two wall lights below, so I have to lift up, lift up a board here, lift up a board there, and they'll go back to the switch for that room, which is about here. So I have to probably flat back the carpets all the way to here and here, like a little pretzel. Uh, what else we got? I think that'll just, that'll do us actually. 
So obviously if we flat back the carpets to here, we can get the feed for the upstairs, up here. Yeah. Oh, I might bring it here actually. I might have this as the riser since I've traced down it. So we can bring the feed up for there for, for the lights up above. So I haven't had a look up here yet, so oh, let's try and get this good flip in it. That was stiff. Oh my god. Ah, it's all bothered out. Right, we'll have a look in there and see what we're dealing with. Alright, up we go then. Let's just get my phone torch on so we can see. Uh, here we go. Oh, yeah, I remember this. <laughs> Get confused between this one and another one we tested. Um, but yeah, we should be. Oh, the neck. <laughs> Unless it's loose. It should come up quite easy, actually. Uh... Uh... Yeah, it's not too bad, actually. It's just these switch positions. That light position we should just be able to get to. Hopefully. Not that might be a bit of fun to try and get to that light position there. Cause it cable. However I had it going that way. Oh dear. <laughs> but anyway, we've we've got a wiring for the switch position, so there'll be obviously a switch about here, a switch for this wall, and a switch about here for that other bedroom. And then obviously we've got the the riser coming up into the loft, so I'll have to lift up all this mess. Get these boards up and then we'll obviously run the cables between to wire up the upstairs. Here's my next stage then, so the carpets are up. This is a chip board, like a little ply, to the nine. And we've got all those roots in to where we need to get to. Yeah, so I'm getting there, all this is up. So we're going to get to the pendant and that switch down there, don't we? Yeah, down to the fuse board there. Yeah, so we'll have to take this ply up next and then start lifting floorboards, there we go. Now before all that I think we'll get some munch because I'm starving, so let's see what's around here. Yeah, I had a nice little tea tea whilst I'm full to a customer. <laughs> we had to get a chance to film that bit. Oh, right, we'll have our cheese, beans, tuna and butter. Mm. Nicely full now. Yeah, I've got a new, uh, some new van cover seats, it's around it. Looking a bit, a bit sharper than before, so looks like a new van, there we go. Right then, let's get back into there. Yeah, we'll go a bit further on now. So we've got the boards up. So this is above the kitchen. Now if you have a look down here, you can see the kitchen. Hey. So that's that boxing section. Should have a goal in sailing. So we'll have to try and fill that. But yeah, we can get his cables up there nice and easy. Uh, we can start wiring it really for the downstairs. So we've got all these boards up now. So we've just got to make sure there's roots in. So what I'll do, We'll get his little tiny mill bit out and we'll just zip every joist. Right towards the middle. Same again here. We'll zip across here. So that were a random board that uh, we took up. Well, it was up already. We just lifted it up. So, we need to get access to the middle as well. I think it's here. <laughs> so, it would stop here, wouldn't it? So, is that. What else is this? Yeah, that's it really. So, yeah, we've just got to get there's feeds in now. So I'm in a few of mine, so the living room, that's got a couple of a couple of wall lights now. Can get this camera to work, there we go. Yeah, living room's got a couple of wall lights, so best bet with wall lights. You don't want two cables coming into one fitting really, uh, just because um, sometimes it can be quite tight inside the wall lights. So what we're gonna do is bring feeds to switches for that and then two cables out to the wall lights. And another, yeah, and another cable to the centre light. Uh, so that'll be the downstairs one. Um, I'm going to bring feeds to switches for here as well. For the switch for down here, which is going to be the outside light. And you've got hall light. And we've got two, three corner earths to bring up to here. Uh, that's about it then. All the rest will be feeds to light. So try and mix it up a bit just to make it the, the wiring easier, basically. Because basically, if you go feed in, feed out, and a switch wire at an outside light, it's definitely not going to fit it. <laughs> and then you have to put a junction box, which isn't going to look as good. So, yeah, then we'll uh, crack on with getting these drilled out and the cables in. Yeah, and then we're a bit further on then. So, 
we still have to get the routing before. So what we'll do is wind up for the switches, um, wind up for a few of the lights. I'll show you that downstairs. So we've got these two switches for this one. So let's just find it. If you look here, we've got a uh, hall light. We've got two way one, two way two, which uh, currently come out the bottom there, which will go to that switch. So that allows you to actually switch on the top and bottom from both ends. And that's we get. We've got feed in here, so we've still got feed out to come from here to feed that switch. So that cable's still to come in. We've also got uh, a cable from here to the light, so that's that cable there taking out, ready to connect, get connected in. Uh, so I'm just running in this at the moment, so this is the wall light. So the wall light's going to come along here down to the switch, and it's going to be a separate cable from there to do this kit, to do this light here, just to make it a little bit easier. Uh, what else have we got? I've just terminated this just for the sake of it. But basically, I feed in, feed out there. So we can turn on the light. There we go. So here we had feed in, feed out, and then the three corner. So I'll just use the brown as a permanent, the grey sleeved up blue as a neutral, and the black sleeved up brown as a switch knife. So that'll just go down to here. Sit so back of here, a little bit neutral, just a little connector block, and then it'll just go. Uh, brown into permanent live and then run through the switch and then switch live out to your light so when you when you flick your switch it'll come out for the light and turn on so that's what we're doing there then in here it's feeding feed out and then we've got a cable from here to the spots so we're winding to this spot and winding to this one this one this one this one and this one and that's that wired so here from that switch we've got to get a cable to the back light as well so that'll be switched from there what else we got? We've got a cable from here to the front light and then that'll be downstairs wired, so nice and easy. And then tomorrow when we come back we're going to focus on upstairs, we're going to get a cable from down here. So we've already got that cable in. So that's the cable to the first switch here. That's levelled up uh, lights down. So we're going to get a cable from here all the way along, up that switch at the top of landing into the loft. And then it'll just be feed in, feed out of the pendants. And then it'll just be a switch wire from each pendant with your three core on earth to give you that neutral to each switch and then that'll be upstairs wired. Yeah, right, then new day, new dollar. So then we've got all the downstairs wired apart from the outside lights. So we've got all these cables in. They've got to get clipped down. We've got a few bat boxes in the van, so they've got to get fixed. Uh, but today we're gonna to get the upstairs wired. So yesterday we've got the a few bars up in the loft. I don't know if you're about to see. GoPro don't do that well in the dark, you see. We've got a few boards up yesterday, so we've got a strip up along here. We've got a strip, well, you can get underneath here. Originally I pulled that up and then thought you can't get under, but you can actually get under that. So the cables are run under there. We've got a strip up here. Uh, we've got a strip up there, and we've got a strip up at the end there, which will get us to that switch here. So we've also got a strip up right along the back there. What a nightmare. This is what we're dealing with. So, it's um, the way this roof is constructed. Oh, we've got a call coming in. Hey, that was just Sharon. So, office, I've, got, I've got like an office lady now that does like the, she does the um, job creation, that she does the bookings, she takes payment, stuff like that. So yeah, she's really good. So she's asking a few queries about jobs. So yeah, recommend if you, if you need a VA, then uh, let me know and I'll put you in touch. Anyway. Let's have a look then, where do we get to, oh yeah, so the roof stops there, so that, it's quite a, um, a sharp roof, so it goes to there and it's like flat, or really low, you can see that beam across there, so realistically where does that get us, um, I think this side it only gets us to about here, you know what I mean, so it's going to be quite hard to get to that cable, same again here, I think we might struggle to get to this like the, the beams here, which is a bit annoying. So what we might have to do is a bit, do a bit of fishery. We might have to get a rod in here, fish to um, where I've lifted up the bar at that end, and hopefully we can get access to the rod and pull in the new cables. Because obviously it'd be feed in, feed out, the three go down to your switch. So what we might have to do is kill the power, or worst case, where I can see the cable go over the beam, uh, tap onto that cable and pull. Hopefully it'll pull all the way. But if not, uh, what we're gonna do, we're gonna have to make some access holes across here, which would be a bit of a nightmare. So flipping it. 
So remember when I said before about plans change? Well, here we go. <laughs> See, we can't get, basically the, the beam stops about here. See our big beam here. Uh, and there's just enough room for one cable, which is a bit annoying. So what we're gonna have to do now is basically tie on, look there, that cable's not on earth. So we're gonna tie on this new cable onto that. So we, we basically bend over the coppers, twist one way with one copper, twist the other way, take it around it like mad, make sure it's just one thickness, and then send a new cable in, or pull it over this beam, which only allows one cable to go through. And then what we'll have to do is bring that down to this switch. So now I'm gonna have to buy it. Um, feaster switches just because we can't get to those rooms without making loads of holes and they don't want loads of access holes on the ceiling um, if you look at it's all it's kind of swirly whirly plaster and you can't just patch that because it looks absolute dog so they'd have to overboard the full ceiling if they're going to do that I don't think they want to do that so here we go this is what they're dealing with so it's now feaster switches so we'll have to go up the riser feeds the switches here feeds the switches for here for the bathroom Feed to switches, feed to switches, and then just uh, we'll have to attach onto the cable. Again, it'll be the same this side, just enough for one cable. I'll have to pull this new cable to here, new cable from that bedroom to here, and obviously here to here, and the bathroom down to here, and then upstairs is wired. So unfortunately, we can't wire feed to the lights and a three cord down to your switch. But at least you'll have a neutral switch, permanent live, um, and you can still get access to the cables in the loft in case you want like a loft light in there. Because that's the, that's the issue with feeds to switches, and you come bottom up, is uh, yeah, you've got no you've got no permanent feed up in the loft, which is a bit of a nightmare. Because if you, you yeah, if you ever want a loft light in the future, you'd have to chase out the walls to bring a bring a permanent up, unless you left like a permanent leg and just curled up underneath, capped off. Anyway, let's crack on with that new plan. Let's do this. And there we go. That's tied on now. So all we're gonna do is uh, get that in the loft, chop it, and pull this through. It should come through in a one hopefully. There we go. That'll do. There we go, that's all the old cables. This new cable comes through the middle of that dry so we just drilled. Pops that down here. Okay. So that there. I'll have to label that up as light for this room then. Let's chop that here. So I'm gonna go to, to elbow, then you've got plenty of room just to shove up after then, yeah. So, wherever my sharp is gone, I haven't got it on me today. Anyway, we'll label that up light, and it's just, we'll have to wire feed and feed out. So, there we go. We kind of tape it up. So what we've done is got the copper there. Probably about that much. Bend it in half, twist, twist, twist. Then we've got the cable we're attaching on through the eyelet. Twist it back on itself, and then we'll just crimp that with the back of the CK snips. And I'm just gonna tape it up then. So it's really tight. So you kind of put it on like a 45, it'll just wrap nicely. You want to go into a bit on some sheath in there, a bit on some sheath in there, and then that just needs to line up so flat to flat. And then when you pull it through, if you push it through the ceiling a little bit, it can't get snagged here. So when we went off and we chop it on that beam, which is about that, it's about here, and we should be able to pull it through. There we go, that's it through. So that's we're ready to go down to the switch, which is this guy here. I've got to drill through this beam here. So same foot middle of that joist. There we go. Let's chop it. So what I have to do is get him in. And then what we do is clip it after. So make sure you run along the side of the beam like this. Ow! <laughs> like that. Anyway, run alongside it beam and clip that after. Just make sure it runs flat. And this can run down to switch then. I'm just label this up light. So any cable labelled light is switched live and neutral. Anything labelled feed is permanent live and neutral. So let's get this down to switch. It should be just here. That's why I always go one. So that should be enough length to go down to the switch. There we go. Little night kick. And this. I'll have to get some clips in here then. So I do is just get it all in, and then afterward you can come up, 
Let's get your metal fixes in there then. Lovely, that's that one in. I like this one. Look at that. Lime neutral, no worth. Nice. There we go, that's all the switch fires in. Well, switch live and neutral. So we've got top light, which is this one. We've got bathroom light, which is this one. We've got this bedroom light in, which goes down to here. I didn't even check that. Yeah, just long enough. Uh, this light here, that one. So now we, what we're going to do is bring the feeds. So I think we'll bring the feeds up this channel here. Um, and then from here, we we'll this one, this one, this one, and then you're done. So let's just do them feeds now, and then we've got to get them all clipped, and then that'll be the lights wired, and we can start second fixing then. There we go, so we've got a cable from here, over to here, here, to this one, out of that one, into here, and then obviously one goes out to your light. So then we'll get those clipped down, let's get back boxes fixed, and then we'll get the switches on and that and the lights. There we go, so there's second fixed, well not second fixed, but they are stripped and ready to go. The switch has to go on. That's the room there. Camera's about to die, I need to get a new battery in here. Yeah, we'll uh, get a pen on, the, on those, we'll get the switches on. And we've just got to get a feed from the fuse board along and up. Once you chase down here, get your two, two ways in, two, three coronets, and I'll be that wide. Yeah, right. carry on. Right then, we'll just take you through installing a little pendant. Let's get you on my head. So I've got a pendant here. Let's have a look at that here. Pendant here, so I'll just pull down the cap. Got a few terminals, you've got a loop terminal, which is where your permanent normally goes. Uh, and then you've got a switch live, which is the cable that comes back from the switch, which goes in here. And you've got a neutral this side. So, cost me wide face to switches. Obviously, the permanent goes in the common side of the switch. It runs through the switch. When you flip the switch, the cable, which, atta which attaches this brown one, becomes live. So that becomes a switch live. So, this is what we do then. So you just knock the back out of that. I'm just going to wire in one side. So you just open up the terminals. The little, uh, little three mil driver. I've got, I think this is a four mil, this one. There we go. Do you want to play, play about, I don't know, four, about, well, about three mil probably stripped for this one. But basically you don't want any copper showing. Uh, so that's that. I've just got a bit of sleeving around my neck. And this is just gonna slot in there nicely. So, just bang it on like that. Just strip it about here. Play a bit too long really. Uh, there we go. I'm just bang that in there. Tiny, well, that's your earth terminal. That's 
plastics, it doesn't need them, but you, you, you still run it within the cable. And then you just fix him up. So there's, uh, you use plasterboard fixings, so in this case there's wood. So I'm just gonna push the excess up there. And then we're gonna send, I'm gonna send these fixings into the wood. You can hear that. You can feel the resistance of the wood when you go in. Yeah, that. There we go, solid as out, and then with these ones, a bit, well, they've got like a cover, so you can basically paint. Let's have a look. There we go, got these little covers, so yeah. There's like a little slot if you look around them, there. And it just locks in like that. Then first, can have a good paint, splash, 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 and that'll just screw up afterwards, and you won't see anything. So I'll just leave that for the customer to put up. And that's all, uh, that's your pendant done basically. Right then, so I'll show you how we do these switches then. So we've got the switch. There, uh, so, a one gang switch. So you can see, we've got feed, feed. Uh, let me see this, and we've got light here. So wherever I label up something light, that's switch live and neutral. I'll see all the neutrals just bang together, like that. Uh, and then we've got, Fading, so these are your permanent lives, so these ones are always live. Uh, so what we do, let's just do the earth first. So the earth just go to your bat box. Uh, so I'll just get those stripped. I'm hoping you can see well on this. Uh, so I did a, a little video like this before. <laughs> you couldn't really see how you're just looking at ceiling. Right, undo your, there's like an earth. Um, lug to the box, so let's bang those in, just out of the way. Oh, I'm getting in, two, and three. There we go. I'll do, so that's that earth. Neutrals, just bang up, and what you want to do is make sure nothing lands behind these lug holes. If not, you're just going to end up going through the cable when you screw it back. And then you'll screw everything back and you'll get you'll get a shot when you power it up. So <laughs> yeah, then, then we'll just get these the same length then. So you've got common, where one, where two. So what all it does is just pick this direction to, to, to go from common to where one, or it goes from this direction for common to where two. That's all it does. Uh, a switch. So what we want to do is bang it in common then. So when it goes to where two, obviously it's not connecting through to the, the light. And then when you flick it downwards, it'll go to where one, which will go through here and out to your light and your light turns on so nice and easy that's what i do nice and tight put that on a diagonal just make sure it actually clamps on the copper nice tug and wiggle tug and wiggle and we're good to go and then i'll do this little little maneuver just so you make sure that the uh the, the line conductors don't land behind this the scrolls when you screw it back but that's going to going to be actually left kind of present sorry presented forward and then they can uh what is it skim all that and then they can screw back to the fresh plaster and obviously all the old stuff that we're gonna have to rip out so that's how we do them right the next little job then so we've got to get a cable from here back to this switch and then obviously inside the switch you when you flick it on you see there's a spare space there uh, when you flick it on it'll come through there pick up the neutral through that block at the back and then turn on your light so it's going to be a little flood light so we've got an mvc light there we go, it comes with a little remote, how cool is that? So, I've never fitted one of these before to be fair, but um, MVC is a decent mix, we're going to try this out, looks quite good, you get a remote. Right then, so, let's, uh, let's try and get the scale in. There we go, here's the little remote you get with it. It's quite impressive really, so, as you like there, nice and sweet. The old hole. Um, Get out when you can hear me. It's got some good buttons, so you got off, so it'll turn it fully off. You got on PIR, so you can turn on the PIR sensor, or you can have a manual override, so it's just always on. If you look at that, it's just always on. Off if you just don't need the light anymore. And then you've got a PIR mode, so that's on that. You've got PE cell, so you've got photo, photo cell there. So that'll just kick on when it's dark. All night, no timer. So let's bring it back on the PIR sensor. Day mode, so if you want to get a little bit of up. Dust mode, obviously it'll just only work um, when it's night and the sensor's moving. 
and then we've got a let's have a look. We've got a time, so you have 15 seconds, 30, 30 minutes, so I'm three minutes, and that should be it. So now it's going to bob around the back now. So we've got to, unfortunately, that door's not open, so I can cart all the stuff all the way around, but we'll get ladders up out of there. We'll have to drill through. Now, this is a bathroom above, which we can't get to, so. Uh, what we'll have to do is drill through, pop through this six inch, chase it round. That's whistling. <laughs> it's so weird. Uh, we'll chase it up into there. A bit angry wind, isn't it? Up, up, up that channel and then down here to the switch. And then we've got a spare way here. If you have a look, so we've got the feed in there on the right hand side. And then that terminal to the left is the, when you flick it, it'll pick that side and turn on your light. Obviously that's for this side. So, there we go. Yeah then, let's go outside. So we go, managed to get that in, and what we've done is rotted it. So we've, we've got it through here, and drill bit pops straight into the ceiling, without knowing. So we've rotted it all the way around to the switch and got that wired in. So all we have to do really is just take a little channel out here, and that'll be the only bit of filling I have to do, instead of a full strip, so it's a bit better for plastery. Here we go, we're done. So we'll take you through the full rewire then. So we've got these little spots in here, Six spots there, that's a little chase so that's bobbing. So like a zone round, so like a six inch zone round the room you can run cables. Uh, not cables into the fuse board now. What else we got? What's the lid? We've got this light here and this one does the outside light, so we're just gonna leave that on. We've got this on, that's looking good. And this is on. Um, I'll have to bob back to do the wall lights, that's just capped off for now. Again, we've got the outside light, and then we've just got down on one switch, and up on the next switch. And we'll bump to the next floor then. So again, hot kills run in the sun. Again, you got, here we go, light for there, bottom, and top. So same kind of configuration. Top, not top, but you. <laughs> we've got carpets back down as well, which is nice. Uh, again, they're coming up, but this is a bit nicer from coming to. So that's that, and then I'll loft it back together. So I'll show you that. There we go, it's all uh, this carpeted dream again. Let's have a look. It's all going back down nicely, and that'll do. Yeah, it just needs a little tidy now, and then that's us done. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video. So nice long one just explaining how we do the, the rewire, the lighting rewire. So as you saw, we took cables from the fuse board, wired it through the floorboards, got all the carpets up, the boards up, and ran them into the, all the rooms. Got all those wired up, and then we went up this little riser here, and got up into the loft, and then ran all the cables between. So it was a bit of a nightmare with the, with the ceiling. Kind of stopping here, you know what I mean? No good, no good. But yeah, we managed to fish it in luckily, and we got this job done. So yeah, if you like this kind of content, hit the like button, hit subscribe, hit the little bell notification so you know when we next upload. As always, have a good one from me, and I'll see you on the next one.